And then I came to Colfield School, first of July, 1968. We handed in our joint application for the school in May 1968, on the day that she was going to the coom to have Carl. Colfield School was built in 1884 and closed on the 31st of January, 1974. Colbert School replaced an earlier hedge school which existed on the site, and also on the site was a church which remained in operation until the new church was opened in Butler's Bridge in, 19, in 1873. The original school had only one room and the new, a new classroom was built in 1938. When we came to Kulpuyok, we replaced Master Keevney and Mrs. Riley from Drumherish, both of whom were retired at that time. The school itself, while it was a sound building, it was primitive. There was no electricity, no running water and no toilets. Toilets were outdoor toilets. At the same time, it was comfortable and warm because of solid fuel or messy stones. And the yard and surroundings were a child's fairyland. They were full of different varieties of trees, hedges, nukes, crannies, and a stream running by the school when they used to fish for minnows during the summer and build dams across the water. Well, it closed in January 1974, and we moved down to Butler's Bridge on the 2nd of February, and on the 3rd of February 1974, the new school opened at Butler's Bridge, and Anne and I taught there from that date until I retired in 1993, and Anne retired in January of 1995. National School uh, was a small two-room slated building which stood between Butler's Bridge and on the Viltorbert Road right beside Anna Lake. It was opened in 1890 and closed in 1974. The school itself was one of the main features on this main road uh, between Cavan Town and Viltorbert. As you can see the images here uh, look very hard to take on board for any school but it was a school that youngsters in this area were quite happy to attend. The uh, foundation stone here uh, indicates actually when the stone or when the school was actually uh, opened. The main road here as you can see also uh, with the cars alongside it uh, show you just exactly the position uh, of the school. It doesn't exist now anymore the extension of the road uh, went right through the foundation uh, area of that school and there's only the foundation stone left uh, on view which we can see here uh, on the original school itself. Uh, the image here uh, is a stark reminder of the older architecture of the schools. Here we have uh, the coat of arms uh, that is on our present school at the moment uh, it's uh, of a, a serpent twisted round a vine with the Latin word fortitude et separanta, uh, while the other stone was honour thy father and thy mother. In 1995, 
This is chosen as the uh, crest for the school and uh, is part of the school uniform. And a lake here in the distance is also a reminder of uh, the scenery that is in around that area. As you can imagine, it was a nice place to build a school. It was a good uh, homely area to live in. As you see here now, uh, all of the youngsters uh, from the youngest right to the eldest leaving the school for the very last time. And uh, the two teachers themselves are, I suppose, in a very sentimental uh, mo mode, Anne Brady and Kathleen Leddy, as they wave goodbye to the school for the very last time. I would say there was a lot of memories uh, for the teachers there as they looked at this experience of shutting down a school. But I presume they were very quite happy to be moving uh, to a new school that give them new hope and new uh, achievements in life. Uh, the haircuts and all the clothes are a reminder of a year gone by. And I'm sure those of you who are looking at it at the moment will pick out faces of people that are maybe no longer in the area, who have moved along, who have married, who have got out uh, of the country or are doing something different in their own lives. Anne Brady, of course, uh, was called by the good Lord some time ago, and it's important that we acknowledge her contribution at this time. As you can see, all of these kids... They've all got smiles on them. Maybe it's the camera that's making them do it, but they're all very much aware of the part of history that these youngsters are now involved in, and that in itself is quite unique and quite special. Here for the very last time is Anne Brady making that very strong gesture of shutting the door on the school. That in itself says a lot. Holding the key up aloft with a smile on her face is, I suppose, a sad thing for her to do, Maybe there was a tear in her eye, and if it was there, it was rightly to be there. Here we now have the official opening of the new school in Butler's Bridge. Central School, they called it, bringing the two schools together. And it was opened uh, in 1974, and it was uh, performed by Mr. Uh, Richard Burke, TD, Minister for Education, in June of that year, and was blessed by Most Reverend Dr. McKernan. Contractors on this project was James McGovern of Bon Boy, and the project cost £24,000, which the parish contribution was 2000 Over the years, there have been many teachers that have served this school, and over those years we have seen Philip Smith, who was principal in 1974 to 1993, and Smith, who was, who was 1974 to 1994, and Brady, 1974 to 1975, Mary Cunningham, 1975 to 1979, Evan Brady, who was the vice principal in 1979? Terry Leddy, uh, the principal, 1993. Catherine Fitzpatrick, 1995. Denise Carter, 1998. And Catherine McGarren, who was the remedial teacher, who came in 1996. These are the images of a new beginning, a new era. It was a time of excitement, and 25 years on, nothing much has changed. <laughs> Childhood friends, and I stopped at a gate 